Welcome back to the Spotlight. I'm Nick Candela, as promised. We've got some of the fellas here from RoboCop the Musical right here in studio. I want to thank you guys for taking time out of your busy schedules to come and talk with us today. No Thanks problem. for having us. Yeah. Uh, we got uh, Sean and Tommy here. Sean, you are the creator of the show and the star of the show himself. Um, tell me a little bit about, um, first of all, how you got involved at Go. Uh, Go Comedy. Go Comedy, mm -hmm. and um, some of the other things that you've done prior to the RoboCop. Uh, after college, I needed to find purpose with my life, <laughs> and that purpose led me to Second City. Okay. And I did the comedy writing program first, followed by improv. And at the time, Second City was closing its doors. Go Comedy was, think, uh, was opening theirs. So I auditioned for and have been part of this amazing theater since day one, and I never look back. I'm very proud and happy to be there. Very cool. We're happy to have you here today. Tommy, you're the director of the show. Tell me a little bit about your past experience before RoboCop and how you kind of got into the whole comedy scene. Uh, well, with the whole comedy scene, I actually started uh, at uh, Second City as well, not at the same time as Sean. Um, but uh, I was a, uh, uh, I worked as a stage manager in Detroit, and I moved out to Cleveland when they opened the one out there. So uh, when I came back uh, from Cleveland, there was nothing else to do but <laughs> comedy theater. Uh, so we um, uh, actually opened up, I'm one of the uh, co-owners of Go Comedy, we opened up oh, uh, very cool. in 2008. And uh, have just been doing shows ever since. And finally, when uh, Sean brought RoboCop to the table, we were you know, ecstatic about it. It was such a great idea. And we were like, yeah, of course. Who wouldn't want to do a, a musical about RoboCop? Like, Absolutely. So and cool. It's, you know, obviously, the movie came out back, what, 87 or so? Think, yep. um, a lot of our you know, watchers are right around that age, you know, our age, my age. Yep. And it was an iconic movie growing up. You know, it was Detroit. You know, one of the first movies that I remember that incorporated the city of Detroit, everything else was New York, Chicago, L.A. Mm -hmm. Finally, you know, we had our own movie, and yeah. it was RoboCop, it was awesome. Um, it was just that iconic feel, and now it kind of had a little bit of a resurgence with the rumors of the statue coming up and mm -hmm. things like that, so this couldn't be any better timing. Obviously, that has to do something with, you know, the whole idea and creation of the musical, right? Yeah. Well, the statue was immediately after you had yeah. come oh, up with the idea. Oh, was it really? Okay. Yeah, before we had uh, put up the production, but after Sean had come up with the concept, and I think first draft at least, yep. uh, they announced the statue. It was the, the whole Kickstarter campaign for it. Right, exactly. And so we followed along with that and, uh, you know, tried to, we actually we talked to those guys a couple of times, mm -hmm. um, and uh, I still, I want to see it so bad. I know that they have it created, uh, and I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's finished yet, but I, I, don't, I know that they don't have a location as far as, right. or as far okay. as I know they don't have a location. Mm -hmm. But. But, uh, but yeah, it, it exists. It's, it's somewhere. It's somewhere. So hopefully opening night it's we can get it. You somewhere know, in a front. warehouse is a statue of RoboCop yeah. just waiting to be placed upon <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the right. city of Detroit. And my backyard is like ready for it. <laughs> yeah, too, I'm so totally I'll ready for it. it. We it. have a nice spot here in the studio actually yeah, where yeah. we can don it. <laughs> city of Warren would be happy to don it. Yeah. Um, so, okay, so obviously the movie's iconic. There's been some great villains in the movie. Um, <clears throat> the musical is primarily based off of the first original RoboCop. It is Correct. a musical parody of the first movie that runs seven minutes less than the original movie. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I figured it was just about seven minutes too long. <laughs> yeah. So you guys are probably right on target. <laughs> right. Um, so tell me a little bit about, you know, obviously, not really the inspiration, because we know we've kind of already covered that, but why RoboCop the musical? To me, the story of RoboCop is the story of Detroit, and I'll tell you why. In the movie RoboCop, you take a man named Murphy, he represents Detroit. Something happens, something horrible happens to him, and people with money try to change him into a shinier, different version of someone that is always existing, someone that is always there. Detroit has always been Detroit. Horrible things have happened to it, and there have been shiny things built upon it, but no matter what, Detroit has always been Detroit. And the fact that people are coming around to it now and thinking uh, positively about our city doesn't change the fact that it's, it should have always been thought about positively because it's always been there. Okay. So that's why I think the, the correlation, the metaphor of Murphy and Detroit uh, rings so much stronger now than ever. Okay. So. He's thought about it way more than I have. <laughs> uh, well, but that take. makes a heck of a lot of sense. Give us your take on it. Um, I, for, for me, it's just a love of the, the movie itself and robots. I mean, robots are just cool. Yeah, they so are. Yeah. that was, you know, some of the, the uh, uh, inspiration for me was just being able to get back to that, that part of my childhood, watching that on VHS over and over <laughs> and, uh, you know, loving oh, every minute of it. Let me stop it. right there. VHS, <clears throat> those are those old tapes. Yeah, yeah. 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 They're the black square. You had to rewind them. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. Return so them. <laughs> and return yeah, and them. And return yeah, them. Yeah. Rewind. Be kind. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah. So it, for for me, the inspiration was uh, uh, just after reading it, you know, knowing that it had so much potential. And uh, uh, in the first iteration of it, I, I didn't direct it. I was more of the uh, um, tech side of it. So any of the like, you know, special effects and costumes and stuff like that, I was in charge of. Um, and so when it came around time for us to to move it to the city theater, I you know I grabbed it as fast as I could. <laughs> I'm like, I want to get my hands on that show. So it's been a lot of fun so far, and I think uh, I, I think, think it's gonna be a fantastic. You being show. part of it from day one and now having a director role is really helping to make this show different. And, yeah, cool. And feel bigger and like it's just yeah. it's a great experience. Cool, so thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we've got you know we've got uh, a great choreographer and a great uh, uh, musical arrangements uh, guy who has come in and, and they've done uh, fantastic work yes. so far and our, our numbers are that much cleaner and that much bigger. Like well, you know now we open with a, a full cast song, which <laughs> before it was you know a little a yeah. little smaller than that, but we you know we've made it into a full on you know it feels like a musical. Now. Okay, yeah. so even if you you saw it before, you know the oh, original yeah. musical. Now <clears throat> it's moving to the other theater. It's bigger. It's better. Yep. It's come together a Definitely. lot more. It's There's it's almost ready it to too. get on the road and kind mm -hmm. of blow up for you oh, guys. Oh yeah. 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 We're uh, we're courting different uh, 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 comic conventions and uh, you know media conventions and stuff like that mm -hmm. to try and see if we can work our ways into their schedules. And uh, make this thing cross country. It has legs. Well, I want to. I want to share it yeah. with other people yeah. outside. Of Robot the legs yeah. too. Yeah. Right. Robot. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Which is better than just regular. Yeah. Legs. Yeah. <laughs> now we talked to JP and the gang a little bit about Evil Dead, the musical that was, you know, uh, right around uh, Halloween or so yeah. in our last season, um, and they had a nice couple sections raw. Uh, I guess plasticed off for the blood rose and oh, yeah. the gore and everything that comes along with Evil Dead. Um, is there any uh, participation from the crowd at all in this musical, or is there any you know action in the seats? You know what can you expect as an audience member of as coming to see the show? As cliche as it sounds, expect the unexpected. <laughs> On paper, you go, "Huh, RoboCop the musical? That that'll be kind of cool. I'll go check it out." But when you're there and you're immersed in seeing how the cast is just giving their all in every performance and how ridiculous some of the things are and how touching some of the scenes are, mm -hmm. it takes the audience for a little bit of a ride that they aren't expecting. And at the end of it, there's, you know, you have this sense of like, that was awesome. <laughs> I think I missed some jokes. Maybe I want to go see it again. Uh, they call their friends on the way out like, hey, you should probably go see that thing. <laughs> I'll go with you again. Like that's, okay. expect the unexpected. It's yeah. really a, not, not just because I'm involved or I wrote it. <laughs> Not just because he's the lead role, but <laughs> for reals. Yeah. But yeah, for no, real. no splatter zone. <laughs> yeah, for no us, splatter but. zone. We've got. Okay. We do have some some fun tips and tricks, and not tips, just tricks. Tricks. Yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, everything is bigger and better. New RoboCop suit, new Ed Two Hundred Nine, uh, new uh, fantastic deaths throughout. So <laughs> it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Very cool. Now, t tell us a little bit. Uh, some contact information. Uh, where can we go to purchase tickets, uh, and how long is the show going to run? Uh, tickets are available through Ticketmaster. You can go to gocomedy.net, uh, and uh, there's links there from our website. Um, uh, Olympiaentertainment.com. Yep. yep. Um, and then uh, dates? Uh, February 19th through February. March 1st. Yep. Okay. The shows are Thursday through Sunday, is that correct? Thursday, Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yep. and the following week there will be a matinee show on Saturday as well. Yeah. Very cool. Yep. And then... Anything coming up as far as uh, Go Comedy is involved? Uh, Go Comedy's always got like a, a rotating schedule. We've just switched up the way that we're doing things, so we actually have something new every Thursday and Friday. Right. Um, and then uh, we always have our uh, Go Comedy All Star Showdown, which is the that's the uh, like the TV show. Whose line is it anyway? Okay. Uh, so that's always uh, late Fridays and Saturdays. Um, so yeah, our website, again, for that schedule there, there's so many things, it's hard to list, but I mean, we have everything from student nights, we have a improv karaoke, where if you want to <laughs> see if you like it, you can come out and try it. We have classes there, um, you know, we have scripted shows, we have improv shows, yeah. we've got a little bit of everything. We're going to do a stand-up night. Sunday. Like, all uh, kinds of stuff. It's our seventh year. We're going to try to yeah. really make it Very bigger. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, appreciate you guys taking time on your schedules to come visit with us today. No and as guests on our show, obviously, we're going to keep an eye on you. Uh, any information that you guys have to share, we'll also share it on our Facebook page. Awesome. And uh, thanks again so much for being on here. Coming right up after the break, a musical performance from the rest of the RoboCop the Musical cast. Stick around. The spotlight will be right back.